What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and uh, guess what? They just released all the world keys to all the players. I already have all the world keys, but for those of you who don't, this is excellent news. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but when I was in PopCap Studios like over a year ago, I did a little challenge where if I won the challenge, you guys would get an extra world key. And that was awesome back then, but now you get them all. Here you go, world keys all around. I already have mine, but check it out. Uh, here he is. What's up, Penny? Look above my head. It's the travel log. What's that? Travel log? You provide guidance, progress, and rewards? The log is not actually speaking, User Dave. Thanks, travel log. Whatever you say. So, I guess they're rebranding the travel log a little bit. Let's click on it. Um, so, I guess all of no, all of my current progress is still there. I am ranked 50 in the travel log, but I think they just want you guys to know that the travel log has been uh, redone. So, here's the thing about what they did. Um, they also rearranged uh, all the levels. So, we start with Ancient Egypt, Pirate Seas, Wild West. But then, they changed it. They changed the order. Uh, I think they're sorting them by difficulty now. Uh, basically... Um, next up is Frostbite Caves, then Lost City, then Far Future, then Dark Ages, then Neon Mixtape Tour, then Jurassic Marsh, then Big Wave Beach, and then Modern Day. Uh, so they really just reordered it uh, just to kind of show you guys, um, you know, what's what the what the appropriate order to do them in for uh, in order of difficulty. So that's kind of cool, if you ask me. I think so. And uh, other than that, though, they haven't really changed any sort of layout within the stages, as far as I can tell. I took uh, a brief look online to see if, if they had it. I, I did not notice anything um, you know, majorly different about you know, the interiors here. Um, so for now, you know, things are looking pretty good. Just scrolling through. Um, yeah, things look pretty great, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm just checking to make sure that there's nothing, you know, nothing, nothing new hidden around. There are some new events coming up soon, and uh, that's exciting. In fact, they talked about them. If you come back in a couple of days, uh, we will be doing uh, the Bizarre Big Brains event. Uh, that's super cool. Um, also, um, basically, there's a new premium plant. I don't know why I said the word basically. <laughs> there is a new premium plant. Uh, it's right here, the Apple Mortar. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this plant and showcase it in today's video. I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know about the keys, because that's an important thing. All levels have been unlocked. But anyway, the main emphasis of this video will be showcasing the Apple Mortar and how to use it. I'm gonna buy it, and then I'll be back. All right, I got the Apple Mortar. Apple Mortars lob apple cores that damage and briefly stun zombies over three lanes. Apple Mortar stuns three zombies dead in their tracks. Spaff. That'll show them. That'll show all of them. <laughs> Spaff. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to see how this works across various eras. I'm going to probably avoid the Dark Ages because I know that the gestures are going to be like spinning like crazy. Um, I don't know about the Lost... I'll probably go into the Lost City with it just to see. I'm pretty sure the Parasol zombies will deflect them. Uh, but let's start off with something extremely basic, uh, Ancient Egypt, of course. I love starting off here. You know my routine by now. If you've seen my videos, you know my routine. Um, so let's go in. We're going to pick the, the latest, the latest level 22. Before we really get into it, though, I have some amazing news. I should have announced this at the very beginning, but I was trying to figure out how to say it. Thank you guys so much. The first episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2 has hit over 10 million views. That's awesome. That's a record for my Plants vs. Zombies videos. And that's all thanks to you guys leaving over like 55,000 likes in the very first episode. 10 million views. Very, very, very cool. I'm really happy about it. It, it now, uh, I only have three videos that are over 10 million views. That's the third. The other is Luigi's Mansion and Super Mario 3D World. So I really do appreciate all that you've done. Um, on the series, on the, showing all the support that you've done. It's amazing. Let's go ahead. I, I'm going to continue doing Plants vs. Zombies 2 videos until this game, until like the apocalypse or something, because I love this game. This is like episode 490 or something. Episode 500 will be around the corner. So anyway, we obviously know that I'm going to bring in some sunflowers, and I love bringing in the gold bloom as well. The apple mortar is here. It's kind of weird that it appears before the pomegranate, but that's okay. Um, I'm, I'm gonna also bring in the Grave Buster and uh, maybe some ice just to freeze it 
And what else should I bring in? Um, by, by it, I mean the zombies. Um, you know, I'm kind of curious. I, I don't know how good it'll do just uh, against the zombies themselves. I'll bring in the grape shot. I'll bring in the cold snapdragon, maybe. I mean, I could go like an ultra slowdown strategy, you know. Actually, let's not bring in the cold snapdragon. I know for sure I'll win with cold snapdragon. Uh, and it'll almost be like me showcasing the cold snapdragon. But let's think about bringing in other other ways to kind of slow them down or stun them. Or any number of things. Oh, we could bring in Charred Guard. That'll be cool. Charred Guard would be cool. We could even push them back with Hurricane. I want to see how I can do. I know I'm going to be limited on plants. But I really, really, really want to just see, you know, how I can pull this off. And uh, make this into a victory. The Apple Mortar is fairly expensive. So we really need to see just how... You know good. It's going to be I'm trying to figure out so will this when it says like three. Yeah, so nice the apple cores launch Oh, and they launch pretty fast too, and it like stuns them for like a split second. I like that a lot And uh, we're kind of trying to see how much damage it does, but it stuns them it doesn't seem to be doing a ton of damage to the uh, to the graves Here we go Let's take those out of the way so far so good. I like how big they are. They really have a presence uh, but I'm gonna start, you know, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna keep actually putting these down I'm gonna try to get a full I want to see if we can handle like especially the big guys. I'm gonna freeze him though With like a full full column of apple mortars. I don't know, but I do want to see I Like how they stun I mean, it's basically a way of slowing them down But it, it's stunning them instead so So far so good. Oh, we got the sarcophagus Zombies who I always forget the name of is it Pharaoh zombie. I don't even remember the name Anyway, we're, we're on a good we're doing we're doing well But like I said, I think we're starting to see that some of these guys are still moving on I would use a grape shot right here right now, but I'm kind of trying to test out just how good the apple mortars are I'm gonna bring in one more Yeah, they're not they're not really ooh, They're not really doing the, as well as I want them to I'm gonna start I'm gonna push back these guys here. Push those guys back. They're big. They're bad. Uh, let's super. Let's super. Let's see what the. Uh... All right. This launches a whole. Bu oh, big apples! Whoa! Now that was cool. That was actually really good. Um, okay. I liked what I saw there. Uh, but I I don't like how a lot of these guys are surviving. So I'm gonna try to um, ensure that these guys get pushed back. Char guard up top row was sleeping for a little bit. That's okay. Wakey, wakey. Okay, so push them back again. I don't know. I might just, I might start, you know, I might start using grape shots. These guys are okay. I like how they're shooting the apple cores, and then when they do their super, they shoot the whole apple. Yeah, like I would definitely use a grape shot right now, but I'm trying to see just how well we do. They're not even doing that great against the tile guys. That's kind of alarming, but. Let's see what we can try to pull off here. I really don't know. The tile guys, I'm, I'm surprised they're not doing more against the tile guys. The main thing almost is that it slows them down. You would probably want to use a different damage thing. Like once these guys are slowing them down, you might want to use, like I definitely, like I, I crave using this grape shot right now. I thought I had a spot. Well, where can I put it? Is there no space? Let's do this. How can, oh, cause I don't have any plants left. Okay, let's just dig that guy up then. Now we'll grape shot it. There we go. I guess that's pretty good. Dig this guy up too. Like I said, I, I'm i having some issues with this. I, I'll try another one. And I'll also try this. I might try a full two columns of these. Just to see how well they do. But I'm getting a little worried. I'm just going to be honest. I'm getting a little worried about their full potential. But we'll, we'll determine their full potential on a stage... Like this, they're definitely like a, kind of a slow, slow use here. We will determine their potential, uh, their full potential. Yeah, boom, hit that. Okay, yeah, they just ate the apple. Okay, that's fine. Not a big deal. Send them back. Send them packing. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, but it makes the zombies come rolling in, apparently. So, uh, <laughs> good joke, Zach. <laughs> okay, yeah, the top row, man. That, this is this is actually kind of. I'm trying to figure out where to plant the top row. 
Oh, I can't because I'm out of plants. No, I have one left. Yeah, where do I put this? Okay, there you go. Yeah, this is actually really tough. Yeah, they're they're doing really good. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they're doing really really well. The zombies are. So this is not really a huge damage thing. I feel like that the apple mortar is more of a complementary style premium plant because I can't really see. But we'll test it out on the pirate seas like I do and see if we can subsist on just apple cores for that. But we might be able to because with all the imps around, they're fairly like low damage things. But they, you know, they have a lot of. Uh, they have a lot of strength in numbers, basically, and, and we'll showcase that in just a bit. Very interesting. Um, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, here. Boom! We just took out a whole bunch of people there. I don't know why so many, um, so much sun came out of that. Oh, probably there was, yeah, I know. Okay. Well, there you go. Apple Mortar. Man, I gotta rethink my strategy. So it stuns them. Kind of an odd thing. It stuns them just slightly. It doesn't like freeze them or anything. Anyway, pirate seas. We'll take it into the pirate seas. We'll see what we could do. They might be good against the shovel zombies. In uh, not not pirate seas, but in uh, like like I said, they reordered this. I kind of wish they hadn't reordered it, but that's okay. Just because now I'm gonna have a hard time remembering which was first, etc., etc. So check it out over here. Level. 30, wait, uh, 20, 22 <laughs> is the one I like doing because you kind of sit back, relax. In theory, you can farm if you have the right combination. I've showed off, I've shown off several premium plants where you can just subsist on those alone on that on this stage and do that. I'm gonna bring in the apple mortar and just kind of go with the flow. We'll bring in some random things. Basically, the point of this is to see. When it comes to a lot of zombies who are relatively weak, um, how can a plant in mass quantities handle that? And so, what we're doing is, yeah, I, this is exactly all I can do. And I do wonder, would it be a little bit better if I, you know, maybe played with the layout a little bit? You know, maybe instead of that, we just do this. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think here for a second. Like that, maybe? I really don't know. Let's rock with it, see what happens. We've maxed out. And we're basically just trying to see, you know, how do you handle cannons, for one? Do they do a lot of damage? Do they stop the cannons from firing? Okay, we, yeah, we, we actually took out the cannons pretty easily. Or at least the one cannon. We got more left, obviously. And I try not to use my premium, I mean, my, I mean my plant food on this one just to see. But if the going gets really tough and I feel like I'm gonna lose, I'll probably just use it. I think we're taking out the cannons pretty well. They haven't been firing a lot of imps, so this is actually kind of a really interesting test in the fact that we seem to be taking out the cannons. For the most part, at least we were up until this point. So we'll see if any of them explode early or you know explode late. We'll see exactly what happens with this. Yay! That reminds me, I need to go to the Zen Garden. Now I have a feeling that you know now that the cannons are starting to catch up, the cannons might start exploding at any time, bursting with imps all over the place. I don't think that we're keeping up with it with the cannons. Yeah, see now they're exploding. Now we now this is the real test. How well do they do a bunch against a bunch of little limbs at the same time? And it's looking a little dire, especially in that top row. Yeah, it looks like they're eating away at the top row. Yeah. So we didn't quite keep up. There are plants where this will work. This will keep up. You can kind of farm. I'm gonna just unleash this, see if this does any good. That didn't do much good at all. But one more. Yeah, not too much good. Oh well. So we'll, we're likely to lose some lawnmowers, maybe even lose the round entirely. Um, let's fast forward a little bit. We know the imps are coming in. We know more are gonna blow up like this. Let's just keep them coming. We know. It looks like the apple mortar can't quite hold its own weight. Like like bowling bobs can hold their own weight on a stage like this. So 
This is kind of interesting, yeah. So, I mean, we might get kind of lucky in the fact that uh, the timing of this. But I had to use the plant. I had to use the plant food, and typically I don't have to do that. So we lost every lawnmower, but somehow we beat the stage. Anyway, apple mortars by themselves, at least for the. I mean, I bet if you filled the whole thing with them, then maybe. But that's kind of expensive, and so we're just trying to kind of determine. I think that's a good stage to kind of determine the overall economic value of a plant, especially when combined with itself over and over. So, um, I'm gonna be skipping Wild West. Um, I don't really want to see it in the Wild West. I also don't... I do want to see it in the Lost City in the far future. And I don't know what else. I really don't. Um, but this basically is just a showcase. Uh, this... Okay, where is it? Mm, let's do Lost City. We'll see how we hold up. I gotta go let my dog out. Be right back. All right, I'm back, and now uh, we go check it out way over here. Uh, level 29, The Lost City. Pretty fun. So I got to really think, like, how do we complement everything? How do we deal with it? We got a lot of variety happening here. Um, so we're going to see. <sighs> okay, let me, just, let me just start from scratch. We want this. We want this. We want the gold leaf and... In, in fact, we do. It's right there. Um, so, apple mortar. I guess we're bringing the old grape shot. Um, so, apple mortar. Cold snapdragon. And then let's think. You know, what else do we need to showcase here? We can do... Now... Um, the red stinger could work. I mean, we'll bring in stuff from this uh, from this one. And I guess, yeah, I mean, I don't really know. Oh, Blover. I always want to bring in the Blover on this one, always. So let's rock with this. This is kind of an odd combination, but hopefully we'll get the job done with it. Uh, again, starting off with something strong like this is good. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put Cold Snapdragons in the front. I'm going to put Apple Mortars and Red Stingers in the back. Coming. And really, I think I'm just going to try to use Apple Mortar as more as a, of a compliment. I think. We'll see. Red Stingers in the back for sure, though. Gold leaves all around. So now th those are the Umbrella Girls. So if I can get another Red Stinger, I'll put it up there. Right now, we're going to be kind of slowing her down. There we go. Sure. Hit her a little bit. Blover time. I'm going to wait for the blover just a little bit. See what happens. See if I need to do it. I'll do it. Here you go. I want that thing recharged ASAP. I'm going to put out another uh, apple mortar. So another cold snapdragon. And another gold leaf here. Now, th things are getting really dicey at this point. I'm gonna blow away everyone that I don't, I don't need at the moment. All right, blow over again, please. Get out of here. Now, so far, so good on this, maybe. Please don't, I think he just blew away one of my cold snapdragon, another cold snapdragon. You know what? That's what I say to this. I say goodbye. Another blower because we got some guys swinging in. And again, I'm using the apple mortar in a much more complimentary type of way. Surprised they've just like. All right, yeah, they're def. Man, this this is so tough still. Even with all this, this is still really tough. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my plant food here for a real super duper time. I'm gonna use this too. Just kind of clear out some people. This is getting hectic. I can't believe how hectic this is actually getting. But we seem to be doing okay. In fact, I might... I mean, I think it's a good combination of everything. I like how the Gargantuars are kind of stunned a little bit by it. You know, they see it happen and they're like, Oh, I'm, I'm stunned. <laughs> That's a quote. Anyway, great. Yeah, there you go. Nice. 
So I think we actually handled this one quite well. I don't know if we should thank the Red Stingers, uh, but I mean, I think they supplemented. I really think this premium plant is more of a, a plant to supplement the other plants, kind of bring it along. Uh, it does some, you know, splash damage and some slowing down. And uh, it attacks on multiple rows, which is cool. So I think it's kind of just, you know, one of those type of plants where you, you bring it knowing that it's not going to not going to solve every problem for you but it'll help out in a pinch for sure we're going to do the same thing in far future except with laser beans and there, i always forget which particular stage i like doing but i think i want to say it's 22 as well or maybe not uh let's find out i could be wrong no i i mm, no well no this isn't it but we could do this one plan your defense Oh gosh, so yeah, I'm going to be kind of limited. I don't even know what in the world the Alpha Mortar is going to do in this case. But we get to plan our defense. Okay, and we'll bring in Laser Beans, I guess. And we'll bring in... Um... What else should we bring in if we're going to plan our defense? We need some more Far Future stuff. Maybe some EMP just, just in case. Um, because we're going to want to take out some of these guys. Maybe Citrons. Maybe, huh? Um, Blover. I don't know about Blover. Maybe. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to think, you know, how do I want to go about doing this? And this is something that I, you know, I care about. Gonna slow. Oh, you know what? Maybe Cold Snapdragons as well. I mean, those, those always come through for me. They're so good. I'm going to bring in the Shadow Shroom as well, just in case I need it. You know, I can just kind of unleash. And, um... Maybe an emergency style uh, <laughs> grape shot. And then, ooh. I mean, this really should be good. This is about planning your defense and just letting loose, you know. So let's go, and I'll bring in this guy, sure. Let's rock. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what my strategy is. I'm just kind of putting it all out there for now. I kind of want to do this. This is a little bit expensive to, to start out with, but... I do kind of want to do it. I want to do that. I do want to have one of these guys here. Uh, you know what? I want to actually put him in the front lines for some reason. I don't know if that's the wisest choice. I want a shadow stream there. And... I mean, this is so weird. This is so kind of haphazard, but I don't want an apple. There we go. I don't want an apple mortar right there. I want, I do, but I don't. I want a shadow stream there and I want an apple mortar here. Now this should be cool, right? And then we have a little bit to spend on like, I don't know, Ian Peaches. Let's rock. Let's see how this does. I really don't know, don't know what to expect here. This is kind of a weird setup. Again, this is going to be a test of how the Apple Mortar complements. You know, this whole layout. These guys are going to get blasted from afar. Oh, man. The bucket heads come out. This is going to be really tough, actually. I didn't realize we're going to have so many bucket heads. Again, I don't know that this is a winning strategy, but I'm going to sure hope for it. Oh, great. Um... All right, yeah, we're definitely in. All right, so far so good. Seems to be holding up okay. Sort of. I mean, like I said, this is getting kind of dire, but. Now is that shield stopping? Okay. I'm nervous about the bottom row. Okay, so, well, okay. I'm nervous about the top row now, all of a sudden. But we'll find out. Um, I'm seeing how well this works. I mean, it seems to me, at the very least, that this is just a real... Okay, I, yeah, the bottom row worries. I mean, the top row is worrying me right now. If it gets really crazy, I'll do a great shot. But the top row is definitely worrying me. Alright, we took those. Now the football guy is coming in. 
are worrying me too. I might go ahead and use one of my coveted plant foods for that. There we go. There we go. So far, so good, right? Seemingly, right? I will be ready for this if need be. I am ready to unleash. I don't trust it. There we go. I, I could have used an EMP, but we have these these uh, these plant foods have been given to us, so might as well give them a try. Now we have the gargantuars, which really worry me. I might do something crazy like this. It's been a long time since I used that particular one. All right, I'm kind of worried right now. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Things seem the final wave. Okay. I didn't realize we were already in the final wave, but I'll, uh, dang it. Oh, man, I kind of, mm, I used that a little prematurely, but I, I, uh, I shadow streamed a whole bunch of people. If this is the final wave, then I'm just going to do the grape shot. It really does seem like that, you know, the, the, and just go ahead and end it right here. The, the, the apple mortar, the, was I calling it apple shroom? The apple mortar is, I mean, it's a really intriguing plant in that it seems to complement other plants really well. And a lot of strategies, you know, that I do doesn't really rely on that so much. But, you know, you got to adapt in this game, especially when they release new plants. You got to see how they're best used. I like how the travelogue now has a paper on it, so you know it's more like a quest, you know. That's pretty cool. Well... I think maybe uh, if we could do do one more stage, it would be Jurassic Marsh. Simply because I know it's going to be tough. The dinosaurs are going to be kind of flinging people at us. And it's going to be kind of hard to deal with. But, you know, I kind of want to see... Again, if we're talking about this is a real complimentary plant, I want to see if it can complement the typical strategy that I use in Jurassic Marsh. Uh, which basically heavily relies on um, you know the primal things uh, pushing them back um, perfume shroom where's perfume shroom there it is cold snapdragon even grape shot yes indeed and apple mortars and you know I think I'm gonna duplicate I'm gonna imitate the perfume shroom I think that's uh, that's one of my core strategies on this mode so here we go. Things look good. Let's rock and roll and hope that we can really, really, you know, nail this nail this down. Because we got a lot of dinosaurs to worry about. And we don't really want to, but, you know, we got to. So here we go. Start there. All right. This is a great intro. But we're gonna we're gonna pr probably try to throw in some apple mortars very soon, just to see. All right. Now, when the pterodactyl comes by, I want to be ready with the perfume shroom. Obviously, there it is. There it is. I'm not ready with it. Darn it! Darn it! I thought I was. I, th I thought I would have it. Come on. Grape shot. Oh, wow. That didn't even do it. That didn't even do it. I'm ashamed. Okay, fine. He tore through a couple of things. Not a big deal. Just let him walk. Oh, come on. I'm not ready. Not another one. All right, fine. Perfume shroom right there. Fine, he's gonna eat that one too. Fine. This is definitely getting out of hand quick. Again, the apple mortar is more complimentary. Gosh, I never have enough sun for this. Perfume, where did the, where did the dinosaur go? Okay, I had one ready for the Stegosaurus, but I don't see him anymore. All right. Man, he landed right on the apple mortar. 
This is not good news. Oh, man, I try to get rid of it, too. All right, yeah, they're tearing through me pretty quick. Gosh darn it. Um, uh, who else? No. Get out of here, please. I think I doesn't move back at all. Now, I, I would say this is a failed strategy on my part, even though I haven't really, like, lost it yet. It's definitely definite that I'm going to lose something here. Maybe a few lawnmowers. The top row could easily go. I did not mean to put that there. I meant to do this. Wow. Yeah, top row's gone. And that's okay, because really, you know, are we missing anything? I don't think so. Just two lawn mowers. The, you know, keeping him at bay with all the slowing effects from the cold snapdragon and the apple mortar seems to be effective in a, in a large way. Also pushing them back with the, uh, with the primal pea shooter. I really think he, the apple mortar just kind of amplifies a lot of the other plants that you're already playing. Kind of amplifies the effect. So if you think about it that way, does a little bit of damage, slows them down. Uh, play them with other plants that push them back or slow them down. Cause look, he's just like literally is freezing. He's like constantly freezing. Can we make, make him keep freezing? Like how often will this guy keep freezing, you know? Like look how, look at his movements. He's just constantly freezing. I'm curious, like can we just like have him pretty much always frozen with apple mortars? And we're pushing him back. So the cool thing is with him basically frozen, the pea shooter is gonna keep pushing him back. So we have complete control over him. Now, if you just have enough money, then you can really, really test that out and really, really, you know, just keep pushing these guys back, keep slowing them down. It's about finding the ideal balance, though. When there's just one Gargantua, it seems pretty easy, but who knows? Anyway, guys, I really do appreciate your continued support on this series. Thank you for every like and favorite. Thanks for every comment. We got some amazing events coming up this next week. This week, in fact, um, the big head stuff. You're going to want to see it, believe me, because uh, I will showcase it a lot. It's going to be fun. I'm probably just going to showcase it a lot. I don't know, I don't know how often to showcase it, but it's, I think it's going to be pretty fun. I think you, you guys are going to like the Big Head event. Um, and, of course, don't forget, now all worlds are unlocked thanks to you guys having the world keys. I think it's awesome. I appreciate you. Come back next time for more. I'll see you then. Goodbye.